Uh, the next gentleman I'm bringing up is a comic who was local for a while and he moved to New York and he's come back. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Mr. Dave DeLuca. Yeah. Cool, let's keep the energy right about there. That was fantastic. I know, fucker, just tell the jokes. I, uh, you ever been talking to somebody when in the first five seconds not only do you regret it, but you start thinking to yourself how this person ever made it through childhood? I was at the store a couple days ago and I went to the deli to get a sandwich and I asked the guy for a BLT and he looked me dead in the eye and said, you want lettuce on that? <laughs> Some of you are worrying me right now, honestly. What do you think the magic ingredient is? Liverwurst? <laughs> It's in the name, it's the second word in the name, holy Christ. How did you not drown in the bathtub? Why don't your mother just smother you with a pillow and get it over with? What the fuck? Uh, I was driving a couple days ago, I got a speeding ticket, got pulled over, on my birthday too. How, yeah, how fucked up is the one day you should be able to get out of it is your birthday, and I try too. The cop comes up, he's like, where are you going so fast? I handed my license, like, birthday party. <laughs> Goes to his car, comes back ten minutes later with my license and a ticket and says, Happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> You're a dick. Yeah. <laughs> and I wanted to vent about it. I got so pissed off, I called a friend of mine. I got his voicemail. I was like, Hey, Mike, it's Dave. I just got a speeding ticket. Call me back. A couple hours go by and he sends me a text message saying, Slow down. <laughs> Thanks, Captain Hindsight. That's. I decided something. If I ever get a message from him and he's freaking out because his girlfriend might be pregnant, I'm gonna wait a couple hours and just uh, text him back saying, pull out. <laughs> Anybody here have kids out of curiosity? Anybody not sure? <laughs> a couple of you were like hesitating on the clap, like, fuck, is it mine? <laughs> if you have kids, please do us all a favor uh, hit them. <laughs> I say that because we're raising a nation of pussies. It's out of control and it needs to stop. Do you realize that they no longer keep score in sports anymore because they don't want the loser's feelings to get hurt? Cupcakes, a bunch of cupcakes. Exactly, that should be a requirement. How else do you teach these little bastards? Hey, you suck at this. Maybe you should try math. They took dodgeball out of the school, huge mistake. We need dodgeball. How else do you teach the fat kids, you know? The reason you keep going out first is because you're an easy target. I heard somebody groaning over there, fuck you, I was the fat kid, all right? I, I'm gonna finish this joke. I used to be 90 pounds overweight, and then one day I decided I don't like to sweat when I make a sandwich, so here I am. We used to have a game when I was a kid where the sole purpose was to beat the shit out of each other. I'm not going to tell you the name, I'll give you a description when you know it, just shout it out. Uh, 20 kids, one ball. One person will grab the Smear the queer right over there. Did you hear how hesitant he was on that too? He's like, smear the queer. Fuck, why was I always the queer? God damn it. I... It was the greatest game ever. For the rest of you, 20 kids, one ball. One person will grab the ball, run like hell. The other 19 would track him down, beat the shit out of him. Someone would take the ball and then the game would go on. Because we live in this hypersensitive PC world, how can you not play the game anymore? You can't even call it that. If you want to call it something, you have to call it detain the one who chooses an alternative lifestyle. <laughs> and it's just not the same. Yeah, I didn't, yeah, yeah, we had a lot of names for it. I, uh, uh, I think I was part of the last generation that was really disposable. Seriously, like kids, like now it's it's every kid is special. We, like I was the last kid, like something happened to the child, oh, guess what, I have another one. Damn, I kind of liked him too. <laughs> like seriously, like nowadays if you teach a child how to swim, you go out and get an Olympic athlete, an Olympic swimmer, you put the little weighty wings on him and whatnot, you get a kickboard and the clippers. When I was, when I was three years old, my parents were worried I might drown, so they took me to the local pool and they're like, Uh, driving to school and she was speeding because we were late and a uh, car pulled out in front of her and 
and she slams on the brakes, and I wasn't wearing a seatbelt, because it was 1985, and seatbelts were for pussies back then. <laughs> so, so I slammed in the dash, and just head first, and so, yeah, bad thing. So she's like, all right, well, we need to go to class. Doesn't take the hospital or anything. Takes this, well, she buckles me in first, because we don't want it to happen again. <laughs> Takes me to school, drops me off, doesn't come in and tell anybody what happened, just got out of class. I go in, the teacher looks at me, I've got this bright red shine on my face, she's like, what happened to you? And all I can say was, my mother did this in the car. <laughs> Nobody called the cops. Nobody called social services. The teacher just kind of looked at me like, yeah, little shit probably had it coming. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I gotta get out of here, but, oh, that was, hmm. I gotta get out of here, but uh, I'm gonna leave you guys with this. Uh, I love doing comedy. I've been doing this for a while. I've known Will for a while. Uh, everybody you've seen tonight, I've known it for the last God, seven, eight years. And uh, one of my favorite things about doing comedy, I think a lot of comics say the same thing, is the people you get to meet uh, after shows. They're just so many amazing people. And a couple weeks ago, I met my favorite one ever. Uh, I was doing a show, and a guy comes up, and he says, Hey, that was a lot of fun. Thanks for coming out. I said, Hey, thanks a lot. Nice to meet you. My name's Dave. He said, Dave, nice to meet you. My name's Richard. You can call me Dick. <laughs> really? <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> How did we ever get to that point? How did we go from Richard to Dick? Certain certain names make sense. David to Dave, Johnny to Jonathan, John, whatever. Richard to Dick just doesn't make sense. <laughs> a couple hundred years ago, was somebody just standing there like, you know, Rich is a nice name, but I really feel like a dick. <laughs> How far back do you think that goes? <laughs> Mary Old England, Middle Ages, King Richard the First. I'm King Richard, Richard the Lionhearted, King of England! But you can call me Dick. <laughs> King Dick if you like. <laughs> Have a little squatty dick. Maybe that'll never happen again. No. How great would it be 200 years from now, you're running you down by some girl, you're walking down the street. Hi, my name's Rachel, but you can call me cunt. <laughs> By the way, if anybody's offended that I just used the C word, you guys can relax, because that part of the joke takes place in the future, and they're joking. <laughs>